Welcome back for another beer review. Uh, this episode featuring a collaboration between Microphone Brewing out of Elk Grove Village, Illinois. I've never, I've never heard of this brewery before I picked this one up. And uh, Wandering Monster Brewing out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, it's probably about two months old. This one here is called All Along the Water Tower. So get it out of the way real quick. All along the Watchtower, Jimi Hendrix, right? Uh, definitely appears to be some type of, I don't know, beer themed after that or parody of that or something like that. It is a West Coast style IPA uh, with Simcoe, Chinook, and Columbus hops. Uh, I think I said 6.5% alcohol by volume. Yeah, 6.5% alcohol by volume. Now, I've never had anything from Wandering Brewing, and I'm here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, sorry, from Wandering Monster Brewing. Um, never had anything from Microphone. Uh, I've heard of Wandering Monster. Uh, never had anything from them. So this here definitely has that, you know, 60s, early 70s vibe going on it. I don't know, Brady Bunch, Partridge Family type of vibe going on there. Uh, the uh, flowers, the water tower. You know, definitely, uh, definitely pretty wild, psychedelic, I guess, artwork on there. All fun, right? Looks fun. So I'm going to crack it open, get a pour on this thing, and um, see what it's all about. It. We'll jump right into it. So while I'm doing this, why don't you hit that notification bell down there? Uh, become a subscriber if you're not. I'd appreciate that. And, um, you know, hit the like button. Hopefully you like what you see here. Well, that looks bright. Bright and clear. A little bit more clear than, you know, it's a very, very, very hazy. Hazy looking color to this. Uh, about a finger of just a white, just a white head on it. But yeah, bright, you know, orangish, light orange, that yeah, pale gold maybe. There you go, look at that there. Looks pretty good. Whoa, wow. So I get a lot of I get a lot of citrus. Citrus and tropical. I was expecting more of I don't know, a piney West Coast. Um, but yeah, this is definitely West Coast style IPA. Hmm. That nose that nose giving me some New England. New England style. I got tropical, uh, pineapple, I got citrus, um, orange, tangerine. Man, that's a, that's a very, very, very good nose on that. Wow. That smells pretty good, and I wasn't expecting that. So let's get a drink on this thing. Medium body mouth, though. Nice carbonation. Nice prickly, you know, pins on the tongue, right? Prickliness on the tongue. And this is super easy drinking. Wow. Get the rest in there. This is definitely a can that's probably going to either end up behind me for a while or definitely on the shelf. And that's just still a nice frothy head. Pr pretty decent lacing, really. Uh, beginning of the palate, tip of the tongue. You just get a nice mashup of just some tropical citrus. Really nondiscreet, almost generic fruitiness. I don't, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Just really nothing I can pick out. I can say tropical mango, citrus, mild grapefruit, orange, whatever. Just a mashup of those types of flavors. As it travels through the palate, on the back end, it gets a little bit of a hoppiness. 
finishes with maybe a slight bitterness. Hoppy, the hoppiness more kicks in on the back. It's definitely not a hop forward beer, kind of a slow build. Slow build to a decent hoppiness, and then just a nice bitterness kicked in. Very good. Uh, this is a crusher, man, I'm telling you. This is an absolute crusher. Far score in this thing. I don't know. I'm going to give it uh, 4.35 out of 5. This is rather enjoyable. I, I, I like this quite a bit. Much more uh, than I was anticipating. Anyhow, you had this before. You had anything from uh, Wandering Monsters. You had anything from uh, Microphone Brewing. Uh, let me know down there. Drop a comment. And, um, you know, hit that notification bell, like, subscribe, check me out on social media, check out my other content. Anyhow, thanks for watching.